Well, you know, it's that time again. Time to interact with you, our viewers, and answer your questions. Today, our sexperts are back with some fun information for you from what to do when your sex drive is different than your partner's to understanding the so-called cougar fascination. Wow. As we continue our 12-week series designed to help you empower your love life, we have back with us once again Mary Wallace Yench and Rachel Braun Sherl from Sempre Laboratories. Good Welcome morning. back. It's good to see you. I'm so glad Hi, you're here. You? you know I have fun with y'all. Now, before we start talking about these questions that I got from our viewers, we want to caution you at home that uh, we're going to keep this PG, very Disney, if you will. But if you're with your kids, you might think that some of this is a little bit too mature for them. So just a heads up. So. Got great questions again for you to answer, so let's, uh, let's get to it. Sounds good. Numero uno, number one. I'm in love with my wife of 25 years. It's not like I want to have sex with anybody else, but after 25 years, our sex life has gone on vacation. I mean, what can I do? All right, I've heard that before from uh, people that I know that have been together more than 20 years. It's extremely common, and sometimes it's due to really just some physical changes, and it could affect both of you, which has a big impact on how satisfying the sex is. So what we recommend is if you think you have a physical problem, you should talk to your healthcare professional or your doctor, and talk about it with each other, because it might really be a combination. And it's okay. Relationships, especially sexual relationships, go through peaks and valleys, and that happens. And Mary, could it also be like the same old song? Well, that's true, and probably for the last 25 years, you've been focused on other things, children, jobs building your families I mean it's it's just there's a lot of other things that were higher on the list so what happens you kind of end up back together again and you're like wait a minute and it's worth a little bit of time investment and in talking and be creative exactly try new things right sure excellent all right question number two let's go I have a question my husband and I just don't have the same love language how can we improve that and make it better Ooh, that's an interesting one. Love language. What do you think? Well, I think what's really interesting is, unfortunately, the movies and, and even porn have given us an incorrect impression of how people talk to each other about love and romance and sex. Um, and it is a much more personal choice. And for a lot of women, they don't have language because we don't talk about it with our friends and we don't talk about it with doctors or advisors. But what we encourage women to do is simply sit back and think about what makes you feel good? What makes you think about some of the best experiences you've had? What makes and you tick? Exactly. And, and what felt great? Because I think often women are too hung up on the mechanics. Even men sometimes are too hung up on the mechanics as opposed to how they're feeling. Mm -hmm. um, because sometimes the simplest mechanics actually result in the best feelings and so focus on the feelings make sure that you're aware of yourself what makes you feel better right? one of the things that we see over and over again is when we say to women remember to when you had a great experience and they get this light in their eyes oh i'm already thinking <laughs> <laughs> the movie is going whether it's the first date or the first few months of their married life whatever the case may be she has an image and she just needs to figure out how to articulate and make sure that it's yours and not hollywood's good point not even real let's be honest all right question number three I started taking an antidepressant about six or seven months ago. I feel way better mentally, but the sex drive has completely fallen off the cliff. Is there a connection there? All right, I know there's a connection. Side effects, no doubt, right? Absolutely, 100%. And Unfortunately, not everybody's healthcare practitioner or physician tells them this, but it is a studied, clinically proven side effect that for many people taking antidepressants, one of the first things to go, if you will, mm -hmm. um, is their libido. Uh, so you might want to be working on the level of medication that you're taking, again, in connection with your healthcare professional. And there are also things that you can do. There are plenty of options for men. I, we hear about them all day long um, on TV ads. And for women, you could try Zestra, which is a patented blend of botanical oils and extracts that's natural. It's topically applied to the woman, and it improves her arousal, desire, and satisfaction, and doesn't have any interaction with the antidepressant. Which is great, because there's no contraindication in the sense of combining it with a medication. Absolutely. Right, and it only seems reasonable that if you're feeling better, <laughs> you should be able to enjoy that fully, as opposed to having that whole piece of your life be non-existent. And the same thing can happen to oral contraceptives as well. Absolutely. All right, question number four. I'm an older woman, or as everyone seems to call it these days, a cougar, and I'm dating a younger man. He's about 10 years younger than myself. Um, my friends, my family don't seem to understand what our connection is. I was wondering if your experts can help me explain to them why this relationship works for us. All right, the cougar question. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it's a great question. And first of all, congratulations. To Absolutely. The, <laughs> to You're doing woman. good, darling. Right. And it, because unfortunately, the focus often is on somehow that an older woman is predatory, and you know, and it's implicit in the in the language. But what's really interesting is she's attractive enough and confident enough, and she looks great to be attractive to a younger and man. And she's taking better care of herself, isn't she? Absolutely. Uh, she wouldn't be attractive to them if, in fact, she wasn't. And I would focus on that. And perhaps that's really what her, her friends and her family are concerned about is that, wow, how is she looking so great? And how is she so confident? And how does she feel so good about They're herself? They're just jealous. Exactly. That's one all. of the things we hear over and over again from women over 40 is at some point, I'm going to have to say, this is what's good for me and push everybody else's judgments aside. It's my turn. Absolutely. Love it. Thank you so much, ladies. This was a lot of fun. We'll see you next time again. All right. Be here. Good. And if you want more information on Zestra, go to Zestra.com. And to send us your sex, love, or romance question, just go to TheBalancingAct.com. Today's show is brought to you in part by Zestra, a natural blend of botanical oils and extracts, clinically proven to enhance a woman's desire, arousal, and satisfaction. Experience the Zestra rush for yourself.